So guys, today is video is gonna be another monthly favorites episode, this time dedicated to my most worn and loved perfumes of July 2023. So in case you want to find out more about them, definitely keep on watching this video for all the details and don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as feel free to subscribe to my channel because it's very helpful for me and once you're done with that, we can get started. So hello and welcome everyone to another monthly favorites episode. By the way, in case you enjoy watching this on the everyday basis, then check out the description box down below. You'll find all the help information and don't forget to drop a comment down below and tell me about your monthly favorites, those ones you've been loving and wearing the most during July 2023. I'm gonna get started with a very exciting new addition to Zara's Red Temptation collection. That's Elixir in a new bottle and I really enjoyed the previous designs, but this one takes it to another level. By the way, in case you missed my full Red Temptation collection overview, definitely check it out because it's extremely popular, like the first Red Temptation that is very similar to extremely hyped Baccarat Rouge 540, then they released Winter and some versions that are quite different, but now there is Elixir and it is extremely luxurious and a little bit more expensive, which makes sense to me because it's super similar to X3 version of Baccarat Rouge. In the opening, there is this sharp saffron mixed with bitter orange that you can actually smell and I like that a lot. There is some coriander and then abstract floral and sweetness similar to burnt sugar and in the dry down of course amber and typical mossiness. So it is way rounder than Baccarat Rouge 540 like the X3 version of it. So I think because it's so luxurious I'll be keeping it for some special occasions because it's extremely mass appealing. People love it and I do enjoy it as well. Although first time I smelled Baccarat Rouge, it was very repelling because of the medicinal vibe, but then I got so many fragrances that are inspired by it because it's super popular that I kind of used to the fragrance, but I very much prefer the X-ray version. So let me know about you if you have Baccarat Rouge or X-ray or both or you're not into this fragrance at all. And by the way, in case you would like to find out more about Baccarat Rouge type of perfumes, I have so many ones. So if you're interested in an updated top list, let me know about that, but I was also very excited and very much impressed with the almost, yeah, drugstore Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe that I found out just recently because it's a new year release by the brand Colleen Farfans. It's called Bell Icon and I've already compared it to Baccarat Rouge in a different video, so make sure to check it out for all the details, but I gotta tell you, not even the bottle's pretty. I immediately recognized this Baccarat Rouge DNA. In the opening, there is actually candy straw with this sharp saffron, then very abstract floral, see less sweetness than the Baccarat Rouge, and in the dry down, of course there is amber and crystallized oak mask, but when I spray it like this, and I like to be happy on it because first of all, it is inexpensive, and it always gives other fragrances that I like to wear it with, that very likable Baccarat Rouge-like effect. There is cedar wood that gives it a little bit of a dirty touch that I've never smelled in Baccarat Rouge, so that's uh, something interesting to point out, and it's also very inexpensive. But, you know, there are so many other Baccarat Rouge-like perfumes, and even the one in the designer world with the same nose behind it, Cordy Jean, which is Barbara Her, and my favorite version of it is Intense, but I have a dupe by the brand Lux Order, and they create perfume oils that are inspired by different popular fragrances and I like them a lot because you can roll them all over your body, even gently over the clothing. And I like to start my day with this fragrance because although it has a bit of a Baccarat Rouge energy, uh, there are so many other elements like beautiful berries in the opening. We got the black currant, blackberry, strawberry, raspberry, sour cherry, even citruses, and they're all noticeable. Then some flowers, and they are not as abstract as they are in Baccarat Rouge, so there is just me that's not indolic, it's just very clean, violet that's powdery, and in the dry down, it's not that ethyl motyl molecule that smells of burnt sugar, rather like beautiful soft fluffy vanilla with a mask and less oak mask, so it's way more wearable than Baccarat Rouge, and also very mass appealing, so I like to start my day with it and just roll it like this all over my skin, which I did one morning, and it was a pretty long ride to work. So when I entered the room where so many translators worked, kind of basically 
for themselves at the computer. I heard two girls behind me discussing who smells so strong because the entire room smells of perfume. So I can only hope that they like this perfume that actually made me go to some fruity fragrances like Delina Exclusive. I have a new Bilux order and I call it a huge pink powder puff. There is beautiful juicy fruitiness in the opening, but then it turns into a big fluffy pink fragrance that projects well. I like to wear it to work or just, you know, where I'm surrounded by people because it has such a beautiful sillage and that's a very particular thing about perfume oils. They are extremely long-lasting and it's just a different experience than spraying fragrances on you. So with that being said, talking about Delina Exclusive, I definitely need to mention the original Delina because I used to bash it on my channel. The dry down of it was too heavy and musky for me, but I I decided to go back to it and got a decant from Pafori, which is an amazing brand for those who want to discover niche fragrances and you can start with something popular as Delina and then choose from so many fragrances on their catalog and discover something more unique and artistic. By the way, they offer you monthly subscription and I got a discount for your first order and that way you'll be able to choose among so many different perfumes, properly test them. This is how it looks and if you like the fragrance, even get it in full size. So make sure to check out their website, the link is below, but this perfume is so bold, it's so strong. Delina is a good one for a reason, because in the opening it's sharp, there is nutmeg mixed with almost bitter, barb and juicy lech, and it is so good sharp, bold and strong, then lots of flowers, the uh, powerful, you know, the Turkish rose, the Ptalia chord with that rather gentle and soft peony, but in the dry down the musk is so powerful, but I still like it a lot because, well, at least it brings me compliments, although the dry down is still a little bit challenging for me. But you guys, just recently I've shared with you like that pink list of Barbie-like perfumes because it's a trendy topic right now and in case you missed that Barbie fragrances list then make sure to check out the video but uh, unfortunately I missed the Zara's Barbie fragrance but managed to get this shimmering perfume oil which is just lovely because you know it is uh, soft, uh, sweet and musky and uh, yeah the Skin feels very soft and glossy with it, but the scent of Barbie's perfume got compared to my all-time favorite Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, and I just love this extremely gourmand fragrance because it is juicy and sweet at the same time. It was also compared to Oriana by Parfums de Marly that you can get at Pafori just to discover for yourself, but you guys, I've discovered an Australian brand perfume oil expressions and their perfume oils that come in in this roll-on format that once again I'm so much into and in case you haven't tried it out yet make sure to do so because you will get such a beautiful sillage and longevity out of your fragrances it's just something very interesting but this is such a close dupe for extremely expensive uh, love don't be shy but it's way more affordable and i like that it's same you know like caramelized floral sea but with a pop of uh, fresh neroli in the opening so i've been loving to wear it uh, on a date with benny or we've been watching you know the movie barbie and I felt really sugary, sweet and truly candy-like with that fragrance, but they also have a dupe for my old and favorite Gypsy Water by Verito, and this is actually my winter perfume, but the weather has changed, now it is rainy, and I like this aromatic fragrance, there is note of uh, juniper and some citruses, as well as black pepper in the opening, then some pine needles, incense, orris root and vanilla, sandalwood and amber that rounds everything, and it's kind of like a very candy gel perfume but smells very expensive and although it's soft it is also noticeable to people so they always ask me about it but it is not as noticeable as my most favorite perfume discovery of July 2023 because when I got my nose on Kryptonite by Khalil T, new brand to me, have never heard of it but I was blown away because this is literally the creamiest sandalwood I've ever smelled in my life. It is so creamy and yummy mixed with bitter almonds, a little bit powdery, then there is almost a rosy tonka bean note that gives it more texture, some flowers, even 
aldehydes but they're not soapy and I gotta tell you that in the live stream with Benny that turned out hilarious so in case you missed it we discussed cast perfumes list in it so make sure to give it a try I told you guys that it knocks me out every time Benny wears it and he loves this fragrance because it's strong extremely profound with an amazing performance the entire house smells of it anytime he wears it very recognizable but at the same time in case you're looking for a universal perfume that will have this very sexy effect I have recommend you this fragrance because actually the description says that it will create a powerful and sensual aura around you and this creation does not represent any danger for those who who wear it unlike the ones who breathe it in and I totally agree it has this destabilizing as if weakened um, by its effect um, moment and yeah guys you need this perfume if you love creamy perfumes if you love strong fragrances with this very impressive performance you need it but another fragrance in that style but way more summary is the new private edition from the amber wood collection by El Hermine it comes in a stunning bottle and you guys this is such a go-to for me this summer because in the opening it smells a little bit green starts off really juicy and then it turns into a true summer cocktail with melon and really ripe pineapple there is also some sweetness and very modern amber and musky woodsiness that reminded me of erba pura however that fragrance was way too strong and overwhelming for me when this one is truly pleasurable and very very complimenting people love fragrances like that so i can only recommend you this new private uh, edition from El Hermine for the summertime but if we are talking about uplifting fragrances a true optimistic go-to this summer for me is Deja Vu by Terre Cabanel and you guys this perfume is so unique because in the opening there is actually a pink bubble gum accord and it is truly mouth-watering very bombastic citron gives it like a really nice push raspberry brings in this mouth watering juiciness then there are some flowers but it's not floral in the dry down there is a white mask and white leather but it's not any malik it has such a dramatic evolution on skin it changes and although i love the bright opening that is very unique in the dry down it turns so sexy that that's my favorite part kind of ambroxany very very interesting and unique created by patrice ravillon whose talent i admire for creating a very catchy and unique at the same time mass appealing perfume so i highly recommend you this one for the summertime but you guys not only i was impressed with that but also this fragrance carousella by olympic orchids that i discovered because i got it in a sample with my order at Equation natural and you guys it took me back in time because i'm not kidding you it smells exactly like um a lip gloss of my best friend in the first grade remember those ones that you can roll over your lips kind of like these perfume oils if not i'll show you check this one out so i know this gives us retro vibes but you know it left your lips just glossy and moisturized and it had this grape scent and you guys this is the scent of opening fresh soda drink scented with grapes there is actually white wine accord but i like that it is not sour it's fresh really nice for the summer because it's also very green refreshing bubbly yet not boozy you guys it's something so unique the note of grape is very rare in perfumery and i can only recommend you to check it out by the way you can get so many interesting fragrances at Equation natural and feel free to use my discount to save some money but with that being said i want to end this video on a middle eastern note of lux orders dupe for lancome's oud bouquet a very popular fragrance that will put you in this sweet oud bubble by the way another favorite way of mine wearing these perfume oils just applying them on the back of the hand then pressing two hands gently together and giving your scalp a massage because i don't know if you can relate but sometimes when the scent comes through but your hair is not dirty so you're not ready to wash it you can just apply a bit of the oil that is not damaging for your hair and you'll get this beautiful sillage and i love to wear this gorgeous fragrance whether i'm on my own watching some tv shows uh, or when i'm going out because it smells a really expensive middle eastern almost wood glazed with vanilla and rose that is sugary and sweet yet not gourmand you guys i can only recommend you this perfume because it has no 
harshness to it like sometimes oud notes um, can feel so it is absolutely amazing and yeah, it has that nice but expensive sweet background. But with that being said, that it was all for July's monthly favorite selection. If you have any questions left, I'm here to answer them. Of course, I would like to know about those fragrances you've been loving to wear during this month. And let me know if you have any ideas for future videos. If you enjoyed watching this one, then make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on my social media so we can stay in touch. And also shop perfumes with my discounts you can find down below in the description box. Other than that, that, I guess that was all from me. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to stay tuned. Smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys.